Barbara Walters has compiled her list of most fascinating people from 2013, and information has leaked indicating that she wanted to have Edward Snowden as the number one person, the most fascinating person of 2013, which seems to make a lot of sense, especially given the fact that he dominated the headlines this year with the NSA leaks. Now, what is fascinating about this story is it turns out that the executives at ABC did not want to name him as the number one person of the year. So as a result, he will be somewhere on the list, but he will not earn the top spot. Now, there are a number of reasons and speculations that, that I've heard about. One is the fact that Edward Snowden did not grant ABC an interview, and as a result, um, Bill Getty, who is an executive producer of The View, said, nah, we can't have him as the number one spot. Um, who knows what their reasoning was? But I think this leak is really fascinating because we do know that the mainstream press does dislike Edward Snowden to a great extent. Yeah, so one of the reasons they dislike him is because he gave the story to Glenn Greenwald and The Guardian, and they went and he went and interviewed him in Hong Kong back in the day, and they'll be using some of that footage, uh, because he is on the list, ultimately, mm -hmm. right? But uh, yeah, for their number one person, they want him to be in the studio. They didn't like that he uh, went to non-mainstream news to begin with. And let's be honest, look, the, the, the guys making this decision are not overly political, but overall there's a culture in mainstream news of, oh, Edward Snowden, radical, left the country, yeah, didn't want to serve a 40-year sentence like Bradley Manning, crazy, what an informed American people. I think what kind of a radical does that? The kind of radical that should be working at ABC News. So I think the lack of access that they have to them, um, or have to him, definitely has them in like this bitter place, bitter spot. So I can totally understand that. But also, look, we've worked in TV in the past. There is this obsession with being really visual, right? Yep. So everything has to be visual. There could be this breaking news story. It could have the most important information that Americans need to know. But if there's no video or if there are no elements to tell that story for television, they'll somehow move it down the rundown or, or pretend as though that story is not that big of a deal. It's a huge deal. This obsession with making it visual is stupid. And I think the fact that they don't have that access to the interview definitely had an impact on their decision. You're only a million percent right. Of all the different reasons why they moved them down from number one, that's probably the biggest one. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, I mean, we've been in production meetings and television and the first question is always, what's the video on it? What's the video on it, right? And look, Nelson Mandela just passed away. I guarantee you the first thing they ask is, what video do we have on it? Who cares what video you have on it? Like a living legend passed away, just cover the story. No, no what's the video? What's the video, right? So here, they, they, since they don't have the interview, they're not going to make him number one. Who cares if he's actually the most important person or the most fascinating yeah. person? They, they don't care at all. So the, the rest of the list is interesting. I'll let you guys judge for yourself. It's fascinating. It's fascinating, yes. Okay, so <laughs> let me tell you who else made the list. Okay, so Edward Snowden, you're thinking, wow, if Edward Snowden is somewhere on that list, that means that Barbara Walters is being serious. She's looking for some real heavy hitters, right? No. She also has Jennifer Lawrence, Miley Cyrus, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, Baby Prince George. Come baby on. Prince George? Come on, dude. But Come why? On. How is how is Baby Prince George the most fascinating person of 2013? What impact did this baby have on the United States, or the UK, let alone the United States. No, I'm gonna come to his ass in a second. Okay. Uh, cast of Duck Dynasty, you serious dog? Swimmer Diana Niad. I don't even know who she is, okay? Uh, Good Morning America host Robin Roberts, that's pretty convenient. Now I know she survived cancer, I know yeah, that, yeah. I, look. No, no, I I'm not giving it to them. Really? I love her, I, I think she's great. I loved her as an anchor on Sports Center. I think you know she survived cancer. Great for her. I okay. think I think that of everyone on that list, excluding Edward Snowden, of course I think Edward Snowden should be on that list. She and one other person make sense. No, she doesn't make sense. Yeah, look, it's like self congratulating. They work with her. She's a colleague. Whatever. They want to dedicate something to her like that. Whatever. Part. Okay, okay, I don't so care. Who else no, you're right. Pa and Pope Francis definitely belongs on the list. Yes, definitely. Okay. All right. So, and look, here's who else I think definitely belongs on this. It's most fascinating, not most important, right? Mm -hmm. So I think Kanye and Kim Kardashian, when they look back, will be Let's figures that people definitely discussed this year. That was fascinating. Miley Cyrus definitely belongs on the list. You like her, you dislike her, you hate her, I don't care. Everybody's talking about Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Is she fascinating, though? No, What's she is. What's fascinating about her? I don't know what the pedo bears were in that performance. I don't know why she sticks out her tongue. I don't know why she likes to make love to a sledgehammer. She's fascinating. <laughs> okay, so I, I don't begrudge that at all. I get that a, a huge part of the list is pop culture, right? 
No, basically what you're saying is this list is bullshit, and we're just going to put up the things that people are Google searching the most, but that are the most popular, and so and we're going to call them fascinating, even if it's a baby who's the most fascinating thing he's done is poop ingeniously in his diapers in a way that they, people did not expect. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I get your point, and uh, you're absolutely right about the, the Google searches and the celebrity angle. That's the reason why we do the celebrity stories. Those are the stories that get the most clicks. They get the most clicks because people are obsessed with that kind of tabloid culture, right? So I, I, that's why she has all these people on the list. I'm glad Edward Snowden made it somewhere on there. I'm sad that he's not number one because that's the, the place that he deserves to be. Yeah, yeah. And, and look, I guess partly credit to Barbara Walters for wanting to put him there. And by the way, this entire story might be bullshit because uh, every year there's some sort of controversy surrounding this list. It might be that ABC News is purposely creating the controversy so we all talk about it. Well, mission accomplished, nicely played. I will take one uh, little divergence from you. We don't do the Miley Cyrus stories because it gets clicks. Yes, clicks are great, and then people complain after they watch it, which is ironic. You're very right about that, right? But we do them because they're an interesting part of the culture, what it says about society, etc. Right? Yeah, there, look, we always try to cover the nuance of that story. It's not like we just bring it up like, hey, take a look at this video of Miley Cyrus twerking on stage, and then that's it. There's commentary. There's some sort of point to be made about that. So, speaking of which, um, is, I was led to believe that twerking is when you're upside down. I don't know, Jay. Now, Let's every not, time anybody shakes their ass, people call it twerking. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be up against the wall and upside down and shaking your ass for it to be twerking? Can we not have this conversation? Well, I don't know. I want to do the most <laughs> fascinating twerking of the year. 